In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Shopify store in multiple languages. But not only that, I will also show you how you can customize your store per country. So your store visitors will enjoy different experiences depending on their countries. And all of this will be done using Shopify native tools without paying any extra dollar and without using any third party app. So are you ready? Let's get started. Telling on a new country, the first thing that we need to do on Shopify is to define this new market. So from your Shopify dashboard, you go to settings and from there you go to markets and as you can see now I have only one market which is Lebanon let's say I want to sell in France and I want my website to be in French so what I need to do first is to click on create market I will choose in here to call it France and from the search bar I will choose the country once you do that you have created a new market and in here, under languages and domain, you need to click in order to set up the new language for your store. And as you can see, by default, the language of my store is in English because this is how I have set up this store. And usually most stores will start there with the English because it's the most common language on, on all markets. Then they move on to other languages. If you sell, for example, in Switzerland, you might need to have your store in three different languages. So it depends also on the country. The default language I have in here is English and I want to change this to become French. All I need to do is to install this app, which is a totally free app from Shopify. So you click here on install. After installing the app, you will be in here seeing all your store content. And in here, you can see that we have the English as a default language. Click here on manage and choose to add a language. I'm going to choose to add the French language and click on add. Then in here, you click on translate and adapt and you click on auto translate. By default, this app is going to give you two free translations, as you can see in here, to two different languages. I will click on translate. And now this app is going to fully translate my website from English to French. Once the translation is done, you can review it and change it before publishing it. So from here, you go, for example, to online store, to the collection pages. And as you can see, you can change the things. So for example, in here, woman was translated into farm. You can change this. If you go for products, for example, you can go to each of your products and double check the translation and see if there is something that you want to change. So you can simply select, modify, save, and do everything that you want. Once this is done, all you need to do is to assign this language to the French market. So from here, you go back to settings, you go to markets, and you go to France. And as you can see under languages, we have English and French, and English is now the language by default. Once this is done, you need to publish this language and assign it to the right market. So from here, you go to settings, then you go to languages, and in here we have the English and we have the French, so we need to publish it. Then you go back one more time to markets, to your market, and in here you will see two different markets. You have the English, as the default language and you have the French as a second language, you need to assign French now to this market. In order to have this language set up for this market, you need to add a subdomain. So you click in here and you use subfolders and simply they are adding French and you click on save. And then in here, you click on setup by default. So now for the French market, this is my default language. So now that you know how you can add multiple languages to your Shopify store, let's see how you can customize your Shopify store per country. So you give your potential customers or your store visitors different experiences. And yes, you can do this within Shopify totally for free. From your Shopify dashboard, go to online store and click on customize. And in here in this dashboard, you will notice in here this option. And within this dashboard, you will notice in here the default option. So by default, whenever you are changing anything on this editor, you are changing the default layout of your store. And by default, all of your markets have the same layout. So now whenever I'm changing something in here, it's reflected on all of my different markets. But let's say for this image specifically, I want to have a different image from one market to another. I want my customers in France to see a different image than my customers in Lebanon or in UAE or in Germany and so on. So all I need to do is to move from the default layout to the specific market. So if I go to the Lebanese market in here 
and now I go to this section I can choose an image in here when I do that you will notice that now I have this green small diamond next to the image and this is basically Shopify telling me that this section is customized per market so this is a section this is an image that Lebanese market can see but if I go back to my default market it's a different image I can go in here and assign a totally different image you can apply the same logic to any section on your store or to any page on your store. As you can see in here, you can change the pages that you are modifying and here you can change the markets. So let's say for example, instead of only changing the image, I want to create a section that's only available in the Lebanese market. So again, I will go to Lebanon in here and I will click on add section to Lebanon. I will choose a random section, let's say image with text. And once I do that, you will see that Shopify is telling me that adding, removing, or reordering sections in store default won't automatically be reflected in Lebanon homepage anymore. Because by adding a section, what I have practically done is I have like separated my Lebanese layout from my default layout because I'm having a totally different layout. I'm not just changing images, I'm having a different structure. So you need to just click on continue and now everything that you're doing on the default market won't be showing in here but it's totally fine because you can still always go to the Lebanese market and change everything so choosing whether you want to actually like go that far with customizing your store per country is up to you and it's totally doable within Shopify so I have added this section and now it's going to be available within Lebanon but if I go back to my default uh, set up, you will see that this section is not available. Shopify has greatly improved over time and now there are so many amazing things that you can do within Shopify for free without paying any dollar and without using any extra app. And if you want to know more about all the amazing things that Shopify does, I highly recommend you to check this video on my YouTube channel where I show you five amazing Shopify hacks I bet you want to know.